What do you think? Because obviously a lot of people don't realise this. What do you think the powerful message is in understanding that time is an illusion? Well, the, the, the core here is that you have inner parts of yourself, like your inner child, your inner adolescent, your inner young adult, that still live in their time. And that if those moments in those times are not healed, because now you all share one emotional field, bleed through into you. So I've learned mm -hmm. to go into your past and heal circumstances in your past that now, you know, if it's one, then no big deal. But if you had like rejection after rejection after rejection in your life, and even though you're mostly doing okay in the present, this whole energy of rejection is still sitting in you. And you, through who you are, and through your energy field, will project into the world, I'm the guy who's looking for rejections. And so what yeah. comes along? Another mm, situation. More, more rejection. Yes. <laughs> and so if you can heal these circumstances and throughout time in, in your past and get you to be free, what I say is for individuals, you need to make peace with your past. Everything that has happened to you, you need to come to a point where if you were the bad party where you ask for forgiveness, and if the other was the bad party, where you forgive, where you are free. And then your job is to make your past happy. Every moment how does, in how time, does one get to a point of being at peace with their past? You you go through it. Oh, so, you know, you start on day one and, and you kind of go through your life and oh yeah when I was 14 they really mercilessly bullied me and humiliated me in front of everyone and I was mortified and I I couldn't handle it and and uh, I've been different ever since kind of thing well mm -hmm. you go to that 14 year old and you change things around you heal him so that he's not mortified anymore and then mm -hmm. lo and behold everything following this will somehow shift. Do you know what?